All right, well, I have never done this before. I'm gonna attempt a whole house declutter. And you know how it is, whenever our house is, when it's not so easy to keep tidy, then I usually know that the inventory has crept up. And with all of us being home so much, I definitely feel like the inventory has crept up. So we're gonna go room by room. I'll show you what it is that we're gonna toss, what we're gonna donate, and I don't know, see how much stuff we can get out of our house. So now I generally don't recommend like big gigantic decluttering if you're just getting started. I feel like this is something where we kind of build up muscles and it gets a little bit easier. We gain more confidence in ourselves. But I guess, I don't know, even as I'm saying that, I think that to get a black trash bag and a donation box and just go around your house and just look for the easy stuff. Like trash is easy. Dana from A Slob Comes Clean will say that. Trash is easy. Like really obvious stuff that you're not using to um, donate, that's actually pretty easy. And so we've had just like some random stuff um, starting to like sit on the floor, which is just a clear sign that our house needs a declutter. So we're gonna go room by room today and I'm gonna show you what it is that we're decluttering and get, getting rid of. So I guess as long as we're here, we're gonna start in the master bedroom and then we'll go to the bathrooms and, oh, the kitchen, that's a longer way. I'm gonna have the kids do their rooms themselves at least one pass through we'll see what they come up with and then uh, then I'll probably go back through them as well so all right let's get started in this bedroom okay can you see the stuff on the floor <laughs> this is not good and you know it just doesn't even happen all that much anymore and so that's the good thing the bad thing is it's just a bunch of random stuff I need to deal with so our bedroom is the same as everyone else's where it becomes the dumping ground for random stuff that you have no idea what to do with. So I'll show you a few things that have been accumulating. Um, this was like a little tripod that came with an extra light we got, but we don't actually need another tripod, so I'm gonna donate that. This just needs to get put back in its home. It's a light. And then this is one of those like Ikea drawer divider things. I haven't used it. It's been floating around to different rooms, but we don't actually need it, so I'm gonna let this go too. And then when we were doing the pictures in the boys' room, um, we had one extra picture frame that we didn't use up there. So I'm gonna take the picture out of this and donate this frame. So we already have like a little uh, donation pile going on, so that feels good. Let's see what's under the bed. So we actually try to keep under our bed clean, like cleared out because I know it's not very feng shui. Or in other words, it just doesn't feel good to go to bed at night knowing you're sleeping on top of stuff. Like it, we actually process that. So what do we have over here? Okay, um, I have a return. So that just needs to go to where um, the returns go. This I've been meaning to put in my memory box. It's actually the shirt that Tom proposed to me in. It's floated around our closets, but he doesn't wear it anymore. He, he can fit into it, but he doesn't wear it anymore. Um, and so it's a memory and that's why I've kept it. So that go needs to go into my memory bin. Okay, and then we have um, kids' book. Like sometimes the kids will come in here just to have some time of their own. So those just need to get put away. And then these were some extra clothes that were given to me, but I haven't had time to go through them, which probably means I just need to donate them because I don't actually need more clothing. So thanks for talking this through with me. I'm just gonna donate them. Ugh, another return. All right, another thing that's like camera gear but that we don't use, so I'm gonna donate that. And then this box is a light that we got that we're not using, and I was gonna keep it to see if we're gonna use it somewhere else, but we're not, so I'm just gonna donate it. And then actually under our bed, it's gonna be pretty good. I'll show you in a sec. All right, I just found a couple other things under the bed. This was like a little sign I got for the girls' room. Um, I thought Maggie would like it, and she did not. <laughs> so I'm gonna donate that. And then we had our old cabinet pulls. You know, I'll sometimes keep stuff just to see if I'm gonna use it, but it's been almost a year since, since we swapped those out, so now it's just time to let those go now. Okay, and then I'm just gonna look in the bottom of our closet real quick to see if there's anything in here. Kind of tight spaces, our room is really little. <laughs> so these shoes I both, I still like in that comforter. I think we're gonna use it in the camper. Um, so if we don't use it in the camper, camper, I'm gonna get rid of it. And then this is an extra backpack Tom had gotten, we were in Texas, he had to walk a long ways from where we were getting his truck fixed. Long story. He needed a backpack for like the day, but just so he could carry stuff, we don't need it anymore. He has two other backpacks. So this is gonna go as well. All right, so just doing our bedroom, um, this is all we have. I still hadn't donated that blouse, so it is officially out of here now. So that's all to donate, and now we're gonna head to the bathroom. 
Okay, I haven't actually peeked in here. It looks, okay, looks pretty presentable. <laughs> All right, the main thing I wanna tackle in here is actually the kids' tub toys. We haven't really gone through it in a while. It's not where the washcloths go. All right, um, but I know these are the green toys we always talk about. They've brought some of this stuff in here, um, but they play with this boat and these two things the most. They don't actually play with this or this anymore, so I'm just gonna toss those. And that's where having a black trash bag um, comes in handy. And then I just wanna check this drawer quick. Um, okay, this is what I was thinking of. <laughs> These did not work for me. It was like waxing things. I'm throwing that away. And I just wanted it so our tub toys like fit comfortably down here again. It's not like I'm trying to take away all the kids' toys. I just, I like it when it fits nicely in there. It's still not perfect, but anyway, it's a lot better. But also, again, the filter that I'm using right now to go through our house is this idea of that silent to-do list. We talked about it a little while back. But this idea that everything in our house is on like a silent to-do list or a list of stuff that we have to take care of and manage and that everything's sending us a message. So literally like if I'm not using it, if it didn't work the first time, let's just be done with it and move on because I'm not going to take more energy to try and figure it out and, and all that. So let's not have it on our to-do list anymore and just move on from it. Okay, I just remember there was one other thing um, in the shower I wanted to get rid of. I recently got like one of these um, bath mitts instead of using a loofah, so I don't need the loofah anymore, and that can go in the garbage. It's just a constant process, isn't it? New stuff comes in, so we have to get rid of the old stuff. It's just constant, constant. <laughs> and this is part of a Mega March Motivation collaboration. So over 20 other friends doing this same topic whole house declutter or some kind of mega declutter. So look for the playlist down below with all of their videos as well. Next week, we're gonna have an organized house tour too. So we have to get this decluttering done so we can come back and show you our beautifully organized houses. All right, we're making progress. I'm gonna leave the donation stuff on the floor for right now and then I'm gonna go bring it into the living room so we can see like all of the stuff that we need to clutter. But I actually, as we head into the kitchen, I wanted to take a look um, at this cabinet above the fridge. I am not touching any of Tom's stuff on the fridge. <laughs> That's his own deal. I still like how well this tray is working up here to contain the stuff. So I wanted to glance in here. This is where I keep my cake stands and serving dishes. It could really use a shelf in there. It's not super organized. So I just want to take a quick pass through to see what we have. Um, if I were to have any kind of problem, it would be buying cake stands because I just think they're so fun. And I probably have too many though, because I actually have one more down in the basement. So I'm thinking that it's time um, to let this one go. It has like the decorative edge. I like this um, like flat one because I can put other things on top of it and it like changes the appearance of it. But I think this one is redundant. So I'm gonna stop before I break anything and grab it out though. And then I've also really, like, I like these little bowls, but they're actually a little bit too small. I don't really ever use them. And so again, I'm thinking all about inventory and how much do I wanna manage. When it comes to entertaining, I'm not super big into having like matchy matchy, super cute serving dishes. Like if that's your thing, you might wanna keep more inventory in that department. Um, but for me right now, the season we're in, I'm just going for super low inventory, but also like you could see how I just kind of had to juggle stuff around to get stuff out. So I want this to be like to function really well and to get easy to get stuff in and out of. That would be of more value to me right now than having lots of different options for serving dishes. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna arrange this a little more and see if there's anything else that I need to get rid of so it fits comfortably. All right, so that's looking a little bit better. I also took the Christmas tray out. I wanna put that with my Christmas decorations. So I think that feels better. So again, I'm just trying to make a quick pass through everything, right? Easy stuff, trash and easy stuff to declutter. I noticed in this cabinet where we keep like our instant pot that we still had one of the kids' lunch boxes. I didn't even love these lunch boxes that much in the first place, but we definitely haven't been using it now. It was way back in the corner. 
so that's gonna go but the kitchen is probably the area I'm most aware of and keeping it decluttered so it functions well so I'm not expecting to find a ton here but I'm just gonna look through the rest of these cabinets real quick okay so we have our donations for the kitchen again not too much in here but now we get to move on to the dining room <laughs> which is kind of like a free pass <laughs> for me I'll show you what I mean okay so if we walk into the dining room you can kind of see that we very intentionally do not have any furniture in here i mean one because it wouldn't fit like <laughs> there isn't actually uh really any room for anything extra in here but also because i don't want anything extra to maintain if i had like a side table or a buffet or anything in here i know it would be a flat surface that would collect stuff and it's already enough work to keep this table cleared off yes this can turn into a dumping ground extremely quickly because you walk in the door and it's right here so i have to very intentionally like every single day keep this cleared off and also i've had to like rewire my brain not to set stuff down here when i come in the house when i come into the house put it into my weekly planning basket recycle and throw stuff away right away and so this is something that takes a lot of intentionality <laughs> to keep clean but it is nice having some rooms in our house that like never have to be decluttered because we just don't have any furniture or storage in here that attracts clutter. All right, so let's head into the living room. I know there's a couple things in here and then we'll go up and check on the kids because it's a little too quiet up there. Okay, so one of the only places we have storage in this room, again, intentionally by design, is under our table here. So we like to keep games under here. So in the basket is card games and then these are um, obviously board games. We got two new games for Christmas, or the kids did. Um, this one is super fun, and we would highly recommend it. Buildsy, Buildsy, um, really cool. And then we also got this game. The only problem was it's actually too young for the kids, so they played it once, and now they haven't played it since. And so in the past, I would have been like, well, we'll just hang on to it for when younger kids visit. We want to do foster care. If we had foster kids, we had younger kids, they might have fun with it. But again, I actually don't want to keep inventory for someday and try and remember that it's there. If I put this in the basement thinking, oh, someday some kids will play with it in our house, I will forget about it and it'll never get played with ever again. So I would rather donate it now, let some kids play with it, than hang on to it just in case. Because again, if I hang on to it just in case, I will not remember it's there. <laughs> so that's like the main thing. But maybe when I was younger, I could have remembered everything I had. I don't know. Um, but now I will not remember I have it. Oh, and I just remembered the other reason I would have kept it in the past because it was a gift. What if the person comes over and expects to see it? I don't keep guilty clutter. Cass from Clutterbug says this. She does not keep guilty clutter anymore. If the only reason I'm keeping it is in case someone comes to our house and is looking for it, then that's just a sign to me that unfortunately no we we can't keep stuff like that because we would have a full a whole house i mean we have six people in our house if we kept every single thing we would have a full house so that's no longer a question i ask or a filter i use it's just are we currently using it ah i just remembered another thing i had in here too was this sign was in our entryway but we didn't have any hooks so when guests come over there wasn't a place to hang their coats and like our coat closet, all the hooks are always like used up. So there wasn't, it was kind of awkward when guests came over. So I, I wanted to put up some hooks, but then that meant I don't have a spot for this picture. And I was tempted to hang on to it because I think it's cute. That's why I got it. But again, it's like, if I don't have a spot for it in our little house right now, I mean, what's gonna change and where am I gonna have a spot for it? So this is going to go to, and I hope someone is very excited <laughs> when they find it. Okay, so I just went and checked on the kids. They're not quite ready yet. We had to adjust some attitudes. It's good. So why don't I show you the other bathroom and laundry room quick, see what we can scrounge up in there, and then we'll go upstairs. Okay, so we're gonna head into this bathroom here, which is the one that I used to get ready. I've actually been through all of the vanity stuff recently, so I think that's pretty good, but this is the dresser where I keep my clothes. So anything that doesn't hang in our wardrobe in our bedroom, this is where I keep it. So top is my under drawer. Middle drawer is uh, tops, and then the um, bottom drawer is pants. But I've noticed that this drawer is kind of full, and I just know myself now that if it's full, it means I have too much, and I'm not wearing it all. Like, that's just what I know about myself from experience. Now, if this drawer is full, it's too much inventory. And so I'm gonna go through it quick and see what it is that I can get rid of. Okay, 
So it's just a few things, but it's enough that now that drawer is gonna open and close very easily. I can move stuff around. It doesn't feel cramped in there, so it, it's still hard to get rid of this stuff, right? Because in my head I'm thinking, well, maybe someday, maybe someday I'll wear that. I'm not, I'm not going to. <laughs> it's okay. And once it's gone, I'm never gonna think about it again. Okay, the kids said they're ready. I was just thinking there might be a couple of things here at the top of the steps too. This is leftover. Oh, wow, guys. Okay. Uh, leftover remodeling stuff. Okay, let's see your room and what you guys found to donate. Hey, well, that's not so bad. So that's what you want to donate? Mm -hmm. Is that Adeline's too or just yours? Yeah. Okay, so you went through your drawers? Yeah. Nope. Adeline didn't go through? Okay, I'm going to have... Adeline, go through her drawers quick and we'll see if this pile gets any bigger while I'm in the boys' room. So much sweatshirts. All right, Gage is just working on putting some clothes away. I wasn't expecting too much in their room because we literally just finished it, but I do want to show you in this storage closet back here some stuff I have. Okay, so if we go around the corner to here, this is a dark storage closet, but so if I were to have a Monica closet, <laughs> this is it. But what I want to get back to is some of this artwork stuff. And then I have extra storage containers here that just need to go. You keep them, not knowing if you're going to need them, but we haven't been using them. And then I like to have the our memory boxes stacked up here. So they're really easy to get to if we want to stick anything in there. So Corbin, we're going to bring out these pictures because I'm not going to store them yeah. anymore. So that one and the one behind it, can you take those out and then I'll... I'll grab the other ones. Oh, this one's still fire. I know. I thought I would use it somewhere. Um, two. Okay, you got them? Yep. Okay. Otherwise, it's really dark back here. I just, I did keep our crib for foster care. This is more extra empty storage containers. This is a shelf we don't really use because it's kind of like awkward to get into. More artwork I've been saving and some more down here. So we're gonna clear all this out and it's gonna feel good just to have that space freed up. Got it? Yep. Carbon's an awesome helper. Okay, so I was able to get the boxes there. I have two more, they were just downstairs that I need to bring up. But this feels way better. And I just did it like a quick sort and organize here. It's still like, it still needs more attention, but that will be for another day. This otherwise though, um, looks awesome. Okay, so I decided to run out to the camper quick to see if we would want to use these in there. And tell me if this happens to you. Like, I've been saving these thinking, oh, they would be super fun in a camper. But I just brought them out and they're just, they're too heavy for there. The frames are too thick. It, they just, it was too much. And so I feel like so often when I hang on to stuff thinking like, oh, I'll have a really great spot for that. It like never works out. It's either it's not the right size, I don't like the style anymore, it's gone out of style, I forget about it. And so again, that's where I'm just like, my motto is now, it's like, I don't store stuff. <laughs> I don't store stuff. All right, we are gonna check back here. That looks a little more like it. All right, so donations and garbage? Yeah. All right, thank you for participating. Okay, and this fun is still here. So let's do this real quick. All right, I need my like super helpers. Are you ready? Can you carry that? Yeah, oh. it's light. Awesome, all right, that'll go to the basement. Yeah. Maggie said she doesn't want this. This is donate. I'm gonna keep the curtain rod for the camper and then the rest of the paint and stuff needs to go in the basement. Corbin, that looks so much better, doesn't it? Yeah. It's amazing the stuff we walk around for like months Gage, you took that out of the frame. Do you want to hang that up in your room? Yes. All right, we'll talk about that. It's All right. so cute, and it's when I was one. It's when you were one. All right, well, why don't we go take a final look at everything that we have to donate, okay? Okay. But I'm not going to donate this. No, we are not going to donate that. <laughs> okay, so here is everything that we're donating. Uh, you were just gonna play the game? <laughs> That's always the risk we run, isn't it? When we start pulling stuff out. So I'd say there's two things that are still the hardest for me to declutter, and that's home decor, because it's just 
fun, right? And it's, I don't know. And I spent money on it, but if we're not using it, then we're not gonna use it. And it still always feels weird to be getting rid of storage containers too. But good, because anything that holds stuff will hold stuff. And so like I said, I've very intentionally gotten rid of extra storage containers, extra furniture that holds storage stuff, um, any flat surfaces that can collect clutter, but also have to be dusted and maintained. So it has made our home a lot easier to declutter and keep decluttered. And like I said too, at the kitchen, I really didn't have much to do in there because it's just like, always top of mind for me now especially in places that don't have a lot of extra space like are we using this are we using this are we using this and if not it's out of here so be sure to check out the playlist down below for our mega march motivation lots of other fun decluttering going on this week and like i said then next week we'll be talking about organization so be sure to subscribe so you're notified when those videos are released but otherwise i hope you have a great day and get a ton of decluttering done <laughs>